government made lots of mistakes uh, just before Christmas. But I think they've steadied the ship. And I mean, I, I meet lots of Fine Gael TDs and senators now mm. in my role as a member of the, the election committee for Fine Gael. And um, I don't sense the same nervousness that was there before Christmas. I think they're committed to, to getting the job done, staying the course. And I don't see any election in the horizon for the next year. Mm. So I think, I think uh, you know, politics changes very quickly. I think if the government governs well, they have every chance of being re-elected. And I think that, le that brings about the kind of calm amongst TDs as they get close to the next general election. So everyone's calmed down a bit in Fine Gael, do you think? Yes, very much so. I think you know, the, going up to Christmas was a very nervous time because of all the protests. Uh, but I think things have changed since January. I think people, Michael Noonan put it very well, I think in January, when he said, you know, when, when there's political instability, soon after there's economic instability, as we're seeing in Greece right now. Mm -hmm. And I think what's happened is that uh, the government has got back onto the agenda which really matters, which is the economy, mm -hmm. which is jobs, which is investment and growth. And the more they continue to talk about those things, I think the more support they will get uh, in the country. Uh, obviously, we'll be running candidates in all of the constituencies, mm -hmm. um, multiple candidates. Um, and we now have the requirement, the 30% requirement for, for women. Uh, which it's going is, to be tough, isn't it's it? going to be a challenge because we're a big political party. We have a lot of existing TDs who are we're trying to save as many seats as we can in an environment where, where our vote is down, where there's fewer than all seats. So it's going to be a big challenge. You can lose seats, you think? Um, well, well, the whole task is to make sure that every single one of our colleagues who is standing, whenever the election's on, is, comes back to the doll. And that's that's what we're we're doing to help colleagues do but that. Realistically, but I mean, you'd have to think that it's going to, it's going to take a, a hit in terms of seat numbers. At the well, we we got nearly fifty percent of the seats the last time and thirty six percent of the vote. It's 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 going to be difficult to uh, replicate that okay. where there's fewer doll seats. Mm. But um, I mean, we're we're going to aim high. I, I think there's a lot of volatility there at the moment. I mean, if you look at the support for independence at the moment, will that be as it is uh, come the next general election? A large number of people don't know that it's all to be won. And I, I think Fine Gael has the capacity to come back very significantly in the next few months. I mean, if Fine Gael and Labour can get to 40% between them or close to that, Fine Gael and Labour will be re-elected, uh, maybe as a minority government, but they'll be re-elected. And I hope that happens. I think it would be important that you know the, the backbenchers and the Fine Gael and the Labour parliamentary party, who've had to make these really hard decisions, have had to stand up in their community and defend it, you know, um, they deserve now from the government the best possible decisions over the course of the next uh, few months to make sure they're well prepared for the next election. And I hope we can be re-elected as both parties in government.